It's me, Tara, again on your Facebook feed. I was doing live interviews at the ICCFA convention earlier this year. Well, guess what? Now I'm at NFDA and I'm doing them again. So it's going to be great. Our first interview is with Remembering a Life. We've got our special guest, uh, Gail, sorry, excuse me, uh, with us today to tell us more about the business. Hi, Gail. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. We're in Las Vegas, by the way, which is awesome. Um, let's start off with this. Who are you? Where are you from? And what brought you here today? So I'm Gail Marquardt, and I work for NFDA. And Remembering a Life is NFDA's Consumer Education Initiative. So we're here to meet with funeral directors and tell them how they can use Remembering a Life in their communities to let people know the importance of remembering their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's great. Um, can you tell us more about Remembering a Life's mission and how it aims to educate consumers about the value of funerals and remembering loved ones? Yep. So. Remembering a Life seeks to educate consumers about the value of a funeral, the value of a funeral director, and the importance of remembering their loved ones after they die. Mm -hmm. And we do that through direct-to-consumer information. Okay. So we reach out to consumers directly, ideally way before they have a need, so that when they do have a need, um, they go into a funeral home and they kind of know what to expect. Yeah and they know what their choices are. Mm -hmm. And they know that going to an NFDA member funeral home is their best option to get a really quality, meaningful service. Okay. So we have a find a funeral home function right on our website where people can find their closest NFDA member funeral home. I did not know that. Yes. Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. So can you provide insights into the significance of remembering a life's journey cards? Um, and how those cards help families in their aftercare journey. Yes. So Remembering a Life has a lot of resources. We have a website, a podcast, a blog, a book club. We have a variety of items that people can purchase, mostly as aftercare types of items, but we also have some pre-need items as well. Okay. And the newest item that we have is our Remembering a Life journey cards. Okay. And that is a deck of cards. There are 52 of them. And oh, each card contains a meaningful way to remember a loved one. Mm -hmm. And then there's a prompt underneath it. So for instance, this one says, write a letter to your loved one focusing on why you are grateful for their presence in your life. And then there's a journaling prompt. Now write a letter to you from your loved one. What do you think they want to say to you? So 52 cards and you could do one a week and have a full year of aftercare activities or you can do them just as you're inspired to yeah. do so. Yeah. And we're giving away free decks um, in our booth okay. at the NFDA convention this year. So it's a really nice aftercare gift for funeral homes to give to families yeah. and consumers can also purchase some directly on our site as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love what it says on there. And I guess the rest of them are... Wow, I love that. Yeah, I'd love to have one. <laughs> well, you may take that with you. Yay! <laughs> and um, last question for you, but certainly not the least. Um, how does Rem Remembering a Life assist funeral directors in promoting the value of remembering loved ones within their communities? And could you elaborate on the resources you provide to funeral directors? Yep. So funeral directors can use a lot of our resources for free. They can link to our website from their website. They can share podcast episodes and blog posts on their social media. We have downloadable social media posts that they can just plug and post. Um, we have legacy films that are films that are were created by filmmakers about people's lives. Mm -hmm. We have public service announcements they can download and use for free on their site. Okay. And we have a lot of ideas for workshops and open houses using Remembering a Life resources so that they can, again, bring people into their funeral home and educate them about the value of remembering their loved ones.
Oh, so many resources. Oh, yeah, and I'm sure I missed a whole bunch of them. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much for, for this interview. Thank I you hope so you much. guys enjoyed, and please check out Remembering Alive. RememberingAlive.com? Yes. Yes, check it out because it's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys.